is recording right right now. So, so what what what's your name and, and tell me a little bit about you and and uh, how you got here and where you're going and what's this? Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Paul Carrick. Uh, you're here at my very first show. Uh, these illustrations are from my first written book called Watch Out for Wolfgang. Uh, I have a for about ten years. I've had a hobby of creating miniature sculptures of vehicles that are all dinged up, and rusty, and, uh, dirty, and weather-beaten. And every day I drift away from my illustration table to my fun table. And I realized I was going to get in a lot of trouble if I didn't learn to make those sculptures be my job. So I used the same exact techniques, essentially just flattening these these vehicles down. The robots seem to be the perfect. Uh, perfect venue for using the style. So here we see one of the pieces. It's mostly styrene plastic and cut in sheets and then uh, assembled in super glue and then uh, spray primed and then painted by hand with acrylic. For example here, the sponge, what I ended up doing is I took an industrial hole puncher, I punched out the holes, I saved the holes, and then these water bubbles are the holes. So there's sort of a recycling theme that goes through the whole book. There's good recycling and there's bad recycling. So where where are you? What what's the concept behind this story? Where did this story come from? Story? Uh, well, it was my first story I've ever written, so I was a little intimidated. Uh, so I decided to look at the classics, and one classic was that appealed was the Three Little Pigs. So I decided if I keep changing, if I keep uh, modifying it, changing the personalities, changing the moral of the story, and keep going until it's mine. That seemed to be a great way to get your feet wet without being too overwhelmed with uh, things that real writers know, what, <laughs> know how to do. And so where, where are you going now from this work? Are you going to continue in this vein? Are you, are you, uh, are you, well, what's this, your next exploration? Well, this book took me five years from start to end, so though this is new for everyone else, this is something I've been with for a very, very long time. And the idea of flat paintings on paper is extremely exotic and exciting to me. So I think, at least for one book, I want to try to do old-fashioned paintings. Um, I think I'm going to go with monsters. Because monsters, since I could hold a crayon, monsters has been one of the most uh, liberating and fun things you could do. So that's what I'm developing now. Very cool. Great work. Thanks. Thanks a lot. What, how's, how's it showing here? How do you like showing here, and what's what's your connection? Uh, well, I was born and raised on the vineyard, uh, so I couldn't think of a, a better place to have my first show for my first book. Uh, my parents did children's books together too. Uh, a few of the pieces my mother it was a book that my mother wrote, uh, so I'm sort of following in the footsteps of it. So uh, I couldn't think of a better place than Martha's Vineyard. Uh, all, just people here I've known since I was an infant, all the way up to people I met a few days ago. So. It's very, very special.